and this is the back of the unit uh, very nice you've got two antennae sockets in this is for the icom communication cable and underneath is for the yesu or you can use the 12 volt power supply cord and just power it without these depending on what transceiver you have this is ptt in ptt out which is bypassed when the amplifier is tuning very very nice feature which is why i bought this very good for old amplifiers this uh, tuner and uh, yeah funnily enough it says version 2.1 but on the inside it says version 3.1 uh, another nice feature I find, some manufacturers just use a nut to tighten these up, as I'm sure you've seen. Some manufacturers use two self-tapping screws, some might use four, but this company uses bolts with an, an, an Allen key to loosen them. Same bolts are used here, but a different colour, and they look very nice. These almost sit flush. And it's just that attention to detail I find lacks from many manufacturers. They just tend to put a cheap self self tapping screw in and call it a day. This company goes a bit further, and uh, for me, that attention to detail really makes a difference. So this is my uh, well, as you can see, my matt tuner. Very nice quality. Just a quick review, not going to go into too much detail. Uh, very well made unit. This feels like milled aluminium on the front. And as you can see, they don't use the normal self tapping screws, they use proper screws with an Allen key. Uh, very basic, which is just the way I want it. Uh, three lights, depending on what transceiver you plug in and when it's plugged in via the cable. All you actually get to do is choose antenna one or two, the rest is automatic. It weighs four and a half kilos, so it's a good weight and it feels very, very solid. So I thought we'd have a look at uh, inside the MAT Pro 1500. It does seem uh, quite well put together. Everything looks neat and tidy, but uh, I don't know too much about it anyway. I was expecting for 700 euros, this is what these cost new, a little bit more inside but after watching some YouTube videos of other AT units, this is actually quite a lot compared to some of them. And we have uh, the antennae in. Then we got uh, a choice, sorry, aerial out. Two ins, so you can do uh, two antennas from this tuner. And that's basically it. So a few of the uh, highlights of this tuner is it does 1500 watt SSB. It can do uh, 800 watts continuous. That's FM, FT, for example. It has an automatic bypass function, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, even more impressive, five seconds for a full tune and once it's found it it takes 0 0.1 of a second for the memory to be latched and the 16,000 memory inputs which is around uh, 14,000 near more than uh, other tuners but what's so nice is green light shows it's tuned with the uh, with a PTT here 
automatically uh, gets it on tune. And you saw the green light went out. Let's see if I can uh, just do that again further up the band. Because when the light goes out, it means uh, the PTT is being bypassed. So you don't have to turn the power down on the receiver. I'll press it again. And you see it goes click. The light didn't even go out. <laughs> Let's see if I press it. Uh, light goes out. Full tuning cycle. And as soon as the light comes on again, which was obviously this light here, then we know the PTT circuit is back in. Very impressive. And that basically means that you can keep your radio, if you like that thing, on full power, key the tuner up, and the tuner can take no more than 15 watts. And you know, uh, the radio is just pushing a, a very small amount of power in. And uh, we'll see uh, what this is now. Key up, and there we are. Very, very low. But if I take uh, the AT tuner out, we can see how high that is. And that's way too high. And just to show where uh, the light goes out here. That's a tuner button. Full cycle. Green lights on, ready to go. It couldn't be any easier. One reason I chose this, and it does look better with its cover on, is that it's just so simple. Plug and play, as they say.